Okay, I have a treat for you today. My good friend Ron from my hometown in Ravenwood, Missouri, makes homemade ice cream with his tractor. So you're about to see it. Here we go. today is making ice cream. We're making ice cream with an ice cream freezer that I made out of a pile of junk and we're running it off of this tractor. And this little tractor that I'm running this on is a 1967 uh, Farm Oil Cub Low Boy industrial model. It's a little bit rare because it's industrial but uh, I bought it at an auction several years ago and restored it. Now I use it mainly to run this ice cream freezer with. But it didn't look quite like that when I got it. It was kind of rough, but I got it spruced up and it's working. I'm running this off of the, actually the belt pulley attachment on this. And I've got a, a little sprocket there and then I run it through a counter shaft to help slow this thing down. And then it runs off of that counter shaft and on a big sprocket inside that that guard there that's on the uh, trans on this transmission this transmission come out of an old chevy truck of some kind and i don't even know what it came from but but uh, it's working and it's making ice cream today the pulley is turning one direction the can is turning the opposite direction i do that through a planetary set there that I got out of an automatic transmission. Today there's a nine gallon of ice cream in there. It's not a full batch today. I normally make a batch about 13 and a half gallon. But anyway, we were uh, planning a family reunion several years ago and somebody suggested making homemade ice cream for this reunion. And somebody else said, we can't make that much ice cream. That's when this thing was conceived. We've come up with this thing, and I've made thousands of gallons of ice cream with it. Mostly for uh, charities and events and stuff like that. Obviously, our family reunion. I really did. I started out with just a bunch of junk. I started welding it together. And originally, my can was a 120-pound grease barrel that I cleaned out, I uh, kind of poke fun at people and tell them that my first batch was chocolate. But uh, anyway, since I've updated to a stainless steel can and stainless steel paddle, and, and uh, I've just made lots of changes on the drive and that kind of stuff to make it work better and, and easier. And, and that's about the size of what I know about this thing. And they're going to scrape, scrape the ice, the ice cream, cream off, off the, the paddle. paddle. Okay. And then we'll bring it up a little more until we're all the way out. And then we're going to go over there and set it in that cup. Does anybody get to lick this one? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Stick your head in there if you want. Let's go a little higher. I'm going to set the step off this way. So good. Oh. It is. Back up here. I'll get the They're more than welcome to come back for more. There's plenty here. I think right. we're going to have enough. What do you want, David? So, what are you doing, Eric? <laughs> well, here's the final product. It looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my gosh. It's really good. It's really, really good. good Can you job. believe it was made from that tractor? <laughs> well, I do now because I saw it, but. 
pretty good. That's Eric live. So what do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? Boy, that ice cream was delicious. It was so good. I definitely got seconds. And all the uh, people at the nursing home did too. They all wanted seconds. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos in the future, just uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell and you'd be notified when I release another video. And we'll see you on the next one.